The 15-year-old skater at the centre of the Olympic do doping controversy faces a fight to stay at the Winter Games in Beijing. It's now been confirmed that Camilla Valieva tested positive for a banned substance before the Games started. Our sports news correspondent Laura Scott gave us this update. Well, after days of speculation about the reasons for the delay to the medal ceremony in the figure skating team event, which was won by the Russian Olympic Committee involving Camilla Valieva, the International Testing Agency has said that it acknowledged there was a need for an official statement given the heightened public interest. And what they have confirmed is what we and many other media understood to be the case, which is that 15-year-old Valieva tested positive for a banned substance. Just to run through the chronology of what we know at this stage. We know that on Christmas Day, the 25th of December 2021, Valieva was tested at the Russian Figure Skating Championships in St. Petersburg. Now, that sample hadn't been analysed, so she was able to come to the Beijing Winter Games, where on Monday she made Olympic history, landing two quadruple jumps, helping the Russian Olympic Committee to that gold medal, which should have been awarded on Tuesday. But also on Tuesday, the Swedish laboratory that was analysing that sample from Christmas Day came forward to say that that had tested positive for a banned substance. So Valieva was provisionally suspended by the Russian anti-doping authorities. That meant that ceremony couldn't take place. Then on Wednesday, Valieva appealed that provisional suspension to the disciplinary committee of Rusada. She was successful in that appeal, but now we've got the International Olympic Committee and the International Skating Union exercising their right to appeal that decision to lift that suspension. That is now going to go to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. And all of this needs to be done hastily because on Tuesday, Valieva is the favourite in the women's singles event in the figure skating here at the Winter Olympics. And they need to know whether she can or cannot take part in that. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it, it's a question of timing, isn't it? And of course, Valieva is Russian, but she's not competing for Russia, is she? It's the Russian Olympic Committee. I mean, people will remember in the games that Russia does have form when it comes to doping, yet Russia were the people to ban her first or at least suspend her. Well, yes, this is a whole, a very complex case, but of course, viewers will be forgiven um, for feeling a depressing sense of deja vu when they hear this news, given we've got a doping controversy at an Olympics involving Russia. Of course, it's worth noting there is a 15-year-old at the heart of this. But yes, the Russian athletes here at the Games are, are appearing under the banner of the Russian Olympic Committee. That's because Russia was found guilty of uh, running a state-sponsored doping program from 2011 to 2015. That involved London 2012, Sochi 2014. They have been serving some form of sanctions ever since in Rio and Pyeongchang in Tokyo last summer as well. And here they are competing under the banner of the Russian Olympic Committee and their very presence here was already a source of controversy given that they've been wearing the Russian country's colours, they've been hearing Tchaikovsky when they win, meaning that for many they are Russia in in all but name. But yes, this is once again a doping controversy involving Russia at an Olympics.